Hey, welcome back to the channel. I want to talk to you today about how we navigate through some challenges that we may have with listings or properties that we are helping our clients sell. We have a situation um, with a property. It's over 100 years old and, and many times with these older properties uh, they use materials that at the time were considered you know common safe uh, best practices but since then we've learned that there may be some health risks associated with those however these still exist within the property in this case uh, this property has asbestos wrapped uh, piping for all of the heating so it's got steam heat and you know or boiler heat in which you know hot water is run throughout the home to radiators which then provide the heat to the house and in the past those pipes were wrapped in an asbestos material uh, as an insulator consider common practice i remember seeing asbestos in some of the homes uh, when i was growing up as a kid in, in my own house and I remember my father even showing me what asbestos looked like is this fibrous stuff and we didn't think anything of it at the time but we've you know learned since then you know the dangers of asbestos and asbestos uh, fibers and getting into your lungs and causing all sorts of serious uh, illnesses and so we have this property uh, which is an estate uh, the executrix uh, and uh, her husband live out of state and we're trying to get this home prepared and we have this asbestos wrapped piping throughout the house which is going to be a concern it will clearly come up in any home inspection that is that is some sort of risk uh, that the buyers especially today's buyers may not be willing to accept so it's very likely that if we were just to leave it alone and do an inspection it would be identified and buyers would either say oh it's got asbestos i'm not touching this i'm not doing anything with the house and walk away or ask for some sort of remediation so we're trying to be proactive and we have brought in a asbestos remediation company to come in, provide an estimate, and give us an understanding of what needs to be done. And in today's practices, this can be done uh, safely. It can be done, I'm not going to say cheaply, but it, it isn't cost prohibitive. Um, we're still waiting for the estimate to come back in. I'm not sure where it's going to land, but I believe it's something that the uh, estate is going to uh, follow up and, and execute prior to putting it on the market. These are some of the things we look for when we're preparing a home. What are the risks that a potential buyer may see that would cause them concern about whether or not to even put in an offer or if something were to come up during an inspection, would it cause a fall through or cause some sort of delay in settlement? And can we mitigate those risks prior to putting on the market? Can we take that away? So in this case, um, we will have the, all this asbestos wrapping removed and they do it in a very uh, safe way. They put a bunch of plastic sheets. Uh, they have, you know, positive air pressure um, inside the room. So they're um, keeping any dust from uh, spreading. They uh, are all encased in their all protective gear. The asbestos is dropped down into these self-sealing bags and they take it out of the home and they follow up then with a uh, environmental air uh, quality check person to come in and do a bunch of air samples to make sure and to demonstrate that there is no lingering asbestos dust uh, roaming around the house. So we do all of that. We provide all that information out to the buying community and they can see, oh, okay, it used to have asbestos, now it doesn't. It's not gonna be our problem, it's already been addressed. And they have brought in experts to do that. It isn't something they did themselves, like some flippers may do. 
um, and they went the extra mile and had the air quality checked to make sure that after the remediation there is no evidence of any asbestos throughout the house. Now the buyers are going to feel far more um, at ease about that property and we've removed that risk, we've taken away that unknown and we've removed even the, the, you know, the, the questions and the concerns that buyers may get. They may be talking with their buyer's agent, you know, hey, it looks like I might have asbestos. Do we really want to make an offer? Do you think the sellers would, you know, uh, agree to removing the asbestos? What's that going to cost? How long it's going to take? Um, do, do we even want to proceed uh, with this home? We've removed all of that dialogue between the buyers and the buyer's agent because we've now been proactive about doing that. And there are other risks that you can see out there as well. We've got uh, septic systems that haven't been inspected or uh, really looked at for 20 or 30 years. You know, if it's been around for 20 or 30 years, it probably needs some attention and it may be getting near end of life. Why do you leave this question sitting out there uh, for prospective buyers? So let's understand the risks. Let's understand the potential objections that a buyer may have to a home and see what we can do to address those prior to the buyer seeing it, prior to the marketplace giving their own assumptions, which may, may not even be valid, but may detract them or defer them from making an offer. So take a look at some of the pictures we got out there for this. We hope that uh, this will help you understand there are ways to overcome some of these items that you may have in your home that buyers may find um, object objectionable or at least something that's going to cause them pause. So give us a like, give us a subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you think about this, if this is the type of content you still want to see so we can provide it for you. Have a great day.